at the court, um, when I testified, I, I went first, and uh, our lawyer, Dan Johnson, was a very kind, mm -hmm. and he, he understood that we were young people, and he helped us. He, uh, he really, um, I don't know, there was something about his, uh, his tone and his manner that uh, I didn't feel nervous. I, I didn't feel nervous. Um, I was all dressed up in formal clothes. I had a tie on and a white shirt and a suit coat. And I had a number of friends in the courtroom, and uh, both my age and, and also uh, adults that supported us in the courtroom. And uh, I don't remember being afraid. Uh, it, it basically, we told the story. Dan elicited the story, and then Alan Herrick, who was the lawyer, the attorney for the school system, cross-examined us. And I remember his manner was, um, I could just intuit where he was going. I could tell what he was up to. And, and uh, he, he was trying to paint a picture that wasn't there. And, and so um, he had a rough, kind of gruff, uh, raspy voice, gravelly voice. And I, I kind of, I was kind of smiling inward inwardly, honestly, when he was asking me questions. He'd say, uh, did you have discussions at home? And, and I said, well, of course we did, around the dinner table, you know, and, he's, and, he, and he said, uh, were there violent discussions? Were they violent discussions? And, you know, I said, well, we had strong discussions, but we weren't hitting any, each other <laughs> over it. But he, I, I don't know, he was trying to make us say that w he was trying to show that we didn't have enough knowledge about the world to be opposed to the war. And I felt very strongly that he was wrong at the time, and I still feel strongly that he was wrong at the time. He, he, I, th I felt that we did have enough information about the war to see that it was wrong. And, and uh, I never changed my mind about the war. I always thought it was wrong. But anyway, anyway, the, the testimony was, um, I mean, I, I was kind of glad when it was over, but uh, I have to say I kind of enjoyed it <laughs> at the time. <laughs> the school board attorney, attorney, the school board attorneys and many others always wanted to make it seem that we didn't know anything. We didn't know what we were doing, and it had to mm -hmm. be the adults manipulating us mm -hmm. and telling us what to do. And they, this, in the trial, they would say, well, who pinned on the armband? Was it your mother? Who got the cloth? Who got? But mm -hmm. you see, by then, our mother didn't have to pin on the cloth. They didn't have to, because we had internalized the values already of our mm -hmm. parents to believe in peace, to believe in speaking up for what you believe in. And so, of course, we were influenced by our parents. But young people do have feelings, and they do have thoughts. And so that's why this case is really a, a youth rights case mm -hmm. about young people having thoughts, having ideas, having feelings, and being able to express them. They, they asked us, uh, where did you get the cloth? And it was, they, they were trying to set us up, well, you're, you know, you're, if your parents bought it, but our parents hadn't bought the cloth. We had bought the cloth. I went up to the, to the dime store and bought the cloth. You did? And, I yeah. didn't know that. I oh yeah, it was yeah, no, no. The house. I thought we had some black. No, cloth. I went and bought the the, <laughs> the black cloth. Later, we added uh, white peace symbols uh, to yeah. the cloth out out of uh, out of mm -hmm. a white iron-on patch material, and uh, this we were enterprising, you know, yeah. kids, and so like, I remember. Uh, spraying the armband with starch, you know, and folding over the hem and making it right, you know, it was, but it was, it was very definitely a kid's project to do it. The, the adults supported us in it, but they didn't put us up to it. And I think that's a really important point. It, uh, I, I don't know why it would matter all that much if, you know, if a kid, is, say a kid, um, is a Christian, and their parents are Christians, or, or, or if they're Jewish, or, and they go to school wearing uh, a cross or a Star of David, you don't say to the kid, 
did your parents put you up to that? You know, it's like that's part of the culture of that family. And mm -hmm. uh, to protest the war was part of the culture of our family. And uh, it was a very organic act for us to protest the war.